Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I am doing a tiny expensive home. Lil Simzy actually posted a video a few days ago where she was um, doing this same idea. I mean, this is her idea, I'm kind of stealing it, but um, she wanted to do something using all the Get Famous stuff uh, in a really expensive build, but in something a little bit smaller, which I really liked because I do want to do a build using all the Get Famous stuff, but I didn't want to do a big mansion. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I've been having some builder's block lately. I just, I don't know why, but I just can't produce anything good. And I've been trying, especially since terrain manipulation came out. I was so, I don't know, um, disappointed, I guess, when it came out. And I thought like, oh, I'm going to put together a really cool build. And I had some ideas. And it's actually a lot harder to use than what I expected. And so... Like, I tried a few builds where I was using terrain manipulation and it was just too hard. I couldn't make anything look good. I think I just need a little more practice with it. And I'm trying to rush myself with the whole learning process because I really do want to put out a video where I'm actually using it. But it's just not working right now. I had to take a break from that. This build doesn't really use any terrain manipulation. I think I just put like a little hill out in the front. But that's really it. I didn't actually make a build into it. So... Instead, I tried, decided to try this. Um, I think it's kind of a cool idea, and I do uh, really like all the new stuff that came with Get Famous. Um, even if you don't really like the gameplay, or you're not really into celebrities or acting or any of that, then I still think that the build and buy items that come with this pack make it really worth it. I just love everything this pack came with. Um, there's there's kind of two different themes. There's like the fancier stuff, like all the stuff that I'm using here. Like there's even like a gold toilet that's like $5,000. And of course I do use it in this build because my goal was to try to make it as expensive as possible. Um, but they also had another kind of retro theme going on with this pack. Um, a lot of the stuff kind of gave me like 70s vibes, uh, a lot of like mid-century kind of stuff. Um, and I really liked it. I think I like that stuff even more than this kind of expensive stuff. I think the next build I'm going to do will be something a little more mid-century as well. So I am looking forward to doing that. But uh, this is just a good way for me to kind of see what was in the pack and start using some of the items. Um, once again, I'm doing that like bay window dinette, which I've been doing a lot of lately. But um, Little Simsy's house was actually like a tiny home. Um, I would call this more of a small home. I, <laughs> I wouldn't use the word tiny because it is two floors uh, and the house that Little Simsy built was actually just one floor and didn't really even have a bedroom. Um, it was more like an open concept. So this isn't quite as tiny but it's still a pretty small house. Um, originally I wasn't going to do a second floor and then I decided that I just, I still wanted there to be a little more space in this house. Um, I told myself I wasn't really going to do any builds because um, ever since uh, we, we got Get Famous, there's been an issue where you go into camera mode. I don't know if it's everyone's game, but it's definitely affecting my game. You go into camera mode and you try to take screenshots of the inside of your house and the ceiling is really dark. And I don't know why, it looks really awful though. And I think that the Sim Gurus are aware of this problem. Um, I did bring it up to one of them on Twitter, so I'm hoping that they're all like totally aware and they're gonna fix it. I know that there is a, I think there's a patch coming out today that's gonna fix a lot of the issues that have been going on. I haven't really had any issues at all other than the dark ceilings. So I'm just kind of hoping that's what they fix. But um, yeah, so this house, um, is unique in that I did not use anything for inspiration. I did type in like a, I don't know, a few different things on Google, like tiny expensive home. And a lot of them were very modern looking and not very like luxurious, like what I was looking for. I wanted something very elegant uh, and over the top. And that's pretty much what this is. So I just kind of did my own design. Um, I don't think I've really done that before where I just kind of winged it and didn't have anything to go off of. So um, I think it turned out pretty good given the fact that I don't know exactly what I was going for in the end. Uh, I used a lot of like the gold swatches. Um, because again, I was going for like this elegance look. Um, I did put this up on the gallery and I, I don't remember exactly how many packs it uses. Um, when I started this, I was thinking I just wanted it to be using base game and get famous. But of course, along the way, I forgot my own rule, which I do all the time. Um, sometimes I do try to use less of the packs so that they're more like they're easier to download for people that don't have all the packs but I always forget so this one though I don't think it used that many because it does have quite a few downloads in the gallery it must not be using every single pack 
Um, I mostly tried to use the Get Famous stuff anyway. Um, I really like just all the stuff that came in this pack that is so over the top, so extra. I really like it. Um, I like all the gold colors. This room is a little bit different than the rest of the house. I went with like more of that royal gold color, um, not like the lighter. I don't know, to me, I don't know how there can be two different uh, tones of gold, but this one is very like orangey, kind of brassy. Um, I use like the animal print bedding and uh, it's pretty, it's pretty over the top, but I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how the house turned out. I wish I could remember exactly how much it turned out to be. I'm going to check right now <laughs> on the gallery because, um, I mean, it's super small. I can't see it being that much, but I don't even know how much the stuff that I was using even cost. Like I wasn't looking at price when I was building this, so I don't know how much things were. Um, I'm going to look right now though and find out just how much this house is. Uh, it, oh my god, <laughs> it's $127,000. I had no idea those items were that much. It's a tiny little one bedroom and it's $127,000. I, I'm just, I'm floored by that. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, but then again, I did use like the most expensive of every single category that I could possibly find. So I mean, it doesn't surprise me that much, but I'm still like, I, I, I didn't know that it was going to be over a hundred thousand. Um, so yeah, I'll probably ne live in this house never because I never play with cheats and my Sims will never be able to afford to live here. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, maybe I'll keep it for my Get Famous Let's Play. Maybe Sophia could eventually live here. Um, she'd, I'd probably have to make it a little bit cheaper though and take some items out because I just don't see how any sim could make that much money. I, I don't get it. Um, but I really, I really had fun uh, being able to do uh, this kind of build because it's not really my style. Um, this, well, I mean, like, this luxury type of house. I don't really build that often, especially because nobody can afford them and it's a little bit too much. But uh, it's it's been really fun. I'm planning my next one. I'm excited for the mid-century one. I think it's going to be, um, I don't know, I really want to do some research into what houses look like in the 70s so I can make it look as realistic as possible. Um, and I just think with this pack, and also this, a lot of the items in this pack give me like Incredibles vibes. Um, and I have been wanting to recreate the house from The Incredibles, the first movie. And I think that's going to be totally doable now with this pack. Uh, before I was thinking like, I don't even know what I would use for it. But now that we've got all these retro items, I totally want to do that. I think it'd be really fun. And um, in my decades challenge, it's funny because I'm only in like the 1910s maybe? Or the 1900s. No, 1900s. The like early 1900s. It's like 1903 and I'm already looking forward to the 70s. Like I think that's going to be the most exciting one to play just because of all this, the items and the build is going to be really cool. And um, that's the one I look forward to the most and now I'm even more excited with this new pack. Um, anyway, back to the build. Uh, so the backyard is like a small little porch area. I did put like a tiny little pool and uh, just some lights and I just tried to make it a little bit filled up but not too cluttered because again it's supposed to be more like about luxury. Um, for the landscaping I didn't go too crazy. I did want to use the terrain a little bit so I did do some terrain editing. I made like a little hill with a tree on it but that was pretty much it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the terrain because I think it's just too hard to use. I mean just like anything else it, you have to get used to it and play around with it a little bit but I have just been having such a hard time um, and I don't want to force it. I don't want to force myself to make a a build that I know isn't going to turn out well if I'm not really feeling it. So it might be a while before you see a build from me with terrain manipulation. I'm just kind of um, waiting for the mood to strike. I'm really not in the mood to learn a new, <laughs> a new, a, a new thing in The Sims. I'm just, I don't want to learn anything. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for the mood to strike and then I'll learn how to use them and hopefully come up with something a little bit better um, than just a hill with a tree on it. I would love to build a house that's built into a large hill, but Again, it's going to take a lot of practice, a lot of watching other people's builds um, before I can actually do that. Anyway, we're at the end of the video now, I think, just doing some finishing touches with the landscaping. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment down below, let me know what you think, and if you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate it so much if you could subscribe to my channel, and thanks so much for watching.